basic uh, user here. It has a ID, name, and age. We have created serializer and deserializer classes. I'll show you how and why we needed to do this. But before that, let me go to this Kafka util class. So the previous version of this class, what we had, like as I was, I was saying that both key and value were in string format. So whenever you are producing a message, you need a serializer. Whenever you are consuming, you need to deserialize back, right? So in case of uh, producer, the key and value both were in form of string. So we had string uh, deserializer dot class dot get name on both the places for key and value because both of them key and value were in form of string but now key is string value is some java object so for that we have used a uh, generic concept here so we are using this uh, serializer okay and here we are passing a generic like this can be a java object any java object it can be okay and then similarly we have here the same generic mentioned okay so this is just a generic concept uh, we are going to use this and here we are using the serializer which is getting passed we are just using the get name property again like the same thing as we have done with the string serializer dot class dot get name Similarly, uh, in case of consumer, we have a deserializer, the same concept, right? With the help of generic. And here, again, key is string, same as before, the value. In value, we have deserializer.getName. Now, we have used a user object. So, we need to serialize and deserialize this user object. So, for that, we have created two classes. This one is let us first go to serialize okay in serialize this will be used by producer so what uh, will happen the object the java object which will be coming will be converted into the byte array okay so we are using jackson library here object mapper is initialized object mapper dot write value as bytes okay similarly we go to user deserializer again the reverse of that byte array will be converted into user so we are doing object mapper dot read value and then converting it back to the user now one thing is topic here this topic is being used as of now we haven't used this topic in our method definition but this uh, this method has been overridden from here like let me show you this deserializer so here this is the deserializer so it it has a topic uh, topic argument so we need to use it and even as of now we have not directly used this in our method but this is used for publishing the logs related to a topic okay and if we want to use this in our method what we can do suppose as of now we only have a user object but now suppose you have an order object as well so you can add your switch case statements as per this like serialize and deserialize on basis of your topic name you will create objects according to your different uh, messages that can be on the different topics and then serialize and deserialize those uh, those particular topics as per your objects and using the switch case so th that's where you can also use this topic argument now uh, i'll go to the kafka util again so what we are doing we are initializing our properties producer properties and consumer properties serializing the values here as per the serializer object and deserializing as per the uh, again as per that object so this initialize can kafka consumer and initialize kafka producer it is just using this method that we have defined here Now to produce the message in topic, again, the generic concept, as we are now dealing with the uh, Java object instead of a string. So we have changed these definitions accordingly. So here you, here you can see we have a producer coming to, for producing the message. The producer will be in form of a key will be string and value will be any Java object. So here we have value coming as form of Java object and here we are just doing the same thing which we did with the string right only we have changed the uh, method uh, definitions here and 
here if we come again into the next part again the generic has been used in declaration and definition is still here you can see still here we have some reference of it on basis of what uh, if the value is returned of course previously we had string here in form of consumer record but now we have java object right so these are the changes in the kafka util and for kafka test class what we have done so this this was our previous kafka test class so we didn't pass any argument here but now as we have different uh, needs for this particular method like here we have user serializer user deserializer and in this case we had string serializer string deserializer so we have just adapted these uh, this particular uh, declaration of this particular method accordingly and rest all things are same no change has been done here if i go to kafka user test so here we have like created our class for testing the user met uh, user message production on the topic and user message con consumption on from the topic now this producer it is string and user and the consumer is also string and user where string is key user is value we are doing a setup as we did previously for the string so in slice kafka producer in slice kafka consumer user serializer and user deserializer so this method which we just saw will be called and uh, the producer and consumer will set up then we have defined a user topic here so i have already created a user topic so this these commands of creating the topic and everything is mentioned in readme file as well and we have gone through this in our uh, i think second video okay uh, in the second video of the series we have gone through how we can uh, create the topics and uh, like read the topics right into the topics using the uh, setup on the windows so this is setup part and this is like where we are subscribe the consumer is subscribing to the topic the user topic that we have created and then we have generated some random ids and random name to give to our user object so here we are passing id again for the second object that name will be random and this is the constant is that we are using for uh, objects now for producing the message and topic we are passing the producer which we have set up uh, in the hooks and then the topic then we are getting the id and the user one so this id what is this id is the key and the complete user object is the value so we produce two messages and then this is the same concept here we are now consuming the messages which are produced uh, again a record will be having key string and the value will be user right consume message from topic we have already changed the method accordingly to get the generic java objects right and this will be working in both the cases like in string we have already modified our uh, class as well so this is our so here we have string but as we are using generic so this thing is handled automatically so here we are getting the list of all the consumer records from the message which is being published in the topic and here we are consuming all the messages which have been published then we are asserting on the records the records that we will get back we are asserting here we here we are just checking whether the id the key here we are checking the key whether the key is same as we have set up earlier and here we are checking the whole value so record dot key and record dot value are the methods for doing that now in case you just want to assert maybe on a single property of the message that got published so what we can do this is like if you are doing this you are already checking all of this but the thing is like you do not want to test uh, in case you do not want to test the whole value of the user object a specific attribute you need to test you can do this record dot value dot get name and record dot value dot uh, so like if you go to the value here it will 
the code dot value will automatically have the user object right and when you do the user we have used generic so java is already aware about that so if you say see here here we have get id get name and get age as well right now in the end we are just closing the producer and consumer and if i show you the messages here messages will be generated something like this so we already have published some messages here uh, one two three four five six seven eight so now our consumer will be subscribing to the topic from the after the eighth message so uh, we have implemented this serializer and deserializer so logging will happen automatically as well so let me show you here i am triggering the test we'll keep an eye on this uh, consumer consuming the topic command that we have already implemented here so after this yeah you see we have two messages published here right and now after the message publishing has happened the consuming part will come into the picture we have implemented the poll for certain time so that thing is happening now okay now the test has been successful that means uh, the messages that we produced with your user object has been consumed and we have asserted on those messages as expected so things are working as expected now let me quickly run through the logs that are published here so we have info logs right so what is happening in the beginning the very first thing we are doing is we are subscribing to the topic the thing that we have done here very first thing in our test we subscribe to the topic after that the message production come into the picture producing the message into the topic so for that there are certain activity related to producer that will happen so here producer is trying to get the cluster metadata okay here we have a transactional manager which is setting up the producer giving an id uh, to that producer now the messages are sent to the topic by the producer so this thing we have uh, implemented in kafka util this uh, log for publishing the message here you can see message sent to topic this this previously uh, this was s out so i have just converted it into logger.info and these are the implicit logging that is happening right after this the same thing now uh, here producer task is completed now consumer tasks are coming into the picture so the similarly consumer is uh, trying to get a connection with the cluster in producer we had uh, transaction manager here we have group coordinator so here uh, consumer is trying to identify a group coordinator and then it is joining the group here in these two steps it is tried to join and here it has joined a particular group so this test group one that we have uh, mentioned it has been provided a id as well group assignment has been completed syncing uh, with the group has been completed notifying assigner about the new assignment and adding newly assigned partition okay so here the partition has been assigned to the consumer and here the offset has been assigned to the consumer as well so if you see the offset that is assigned is offset equal to eight right so if i quickly show you we have uh, generated these two uh, these two messages now that means once the message was generated this is the offset that should have been assigned and let us check what is this offset so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so eighth offset is assigned and our messages were generated after that so it is not like uh, we are assigning all the 
all the existing messages of set as well to the consumer because our consumer started to listen to this topic here so that's why this particular offset has been assigned so yeah that's all for this video guys and uh, in the future videos i will be discussing about other schemas like we have avro schema and other concept in the kafka automation as well so we'll discuss about them in case you have any doubt about the kafka automation or any of the other videos that i have created please feel free to leave a comment i'll be more than happy to help you guys and yeah stay tuned see you in the next video thank you Thank you.